Today we're going to go over those nasty division problems and this is going to be referred to as rationalizing. So there's five sort of scenarios here and if you notice today's just going to be about basic rationalizing. So the basic part refers to the denominator looking pretty simple. Well it still doesn't look simple but there's not a lot of stuff going on. There's just one term three times the square root of five. There's not other operations like plus another thing minus another thing. That'll be next video. So what do we do with these things? From the previous video, the easy case for division is these two, and these are ugly. So in these cases, the, these fives cancel, so there's really not much to do. And this just becomes four thirds. And in this case, we're actually just done. There's nothing to do. So these two are easy cases. Now, all of these are sort of situations where the top and bottom don't really have a lot in common and the denominator has a square root. So what does a rationalizing video refer to? This is referring to getting rid of square roots in the denominator. So if you have an answer like this, it's perfectly fine. If you have an answer like this, it's not fine. We do not want a square root in the denominator. That's considered not simplified. Just like two fourths is not simplified, we want to do one half. If you see this, this is no good. That means you, in this case, you want to do some basic rationalizing, which is what we're going to do now. And so these are just some common setups. You don't have to worry about how complicated the top is. And these three are just to emphasize that. So don't even worry if it's this case or this case. If you know how to do this, you really know how to do that. So what we're going to do is just going to apply to stuff like this. So let's say we just have two over three root five. So what we want to do is get rid of the square root. How do you get rid of a square root with another square root? But we can't just arbitrarily multiply the denominator because then we're changing the value. But we know that if we multiply any number by one, the value is unaffected. So therefore, this thing has to also be square root of five because a number divided by itself is one. So by multiplying this by one, we're not changing the value, but we are changing the form because the square roots will undo each other. So you'll get 2 root 5 on the top and 3 times 5 or just 15 on the bottom. So this is not simplified, not rationalized because there's a square root in the denominator in this one. There's still a square root but it's on the top, no square roots here so this is considered done, you're fine, nothing else to do. So let's try another one. Let's say you have two root seven over four root three. So we want to undo this square root. So we multiply by another root three over root three. So this becomes two root 21. That's seven times three. And the square root of threes undo each other. So you get four times three, which is 12. Now here you can also simplify these to get root 21 over 6. So this would be your final answer. So the, the thing in a nutshell, to do basic rationalizing, whatever's in the, your denominator, you multiply by that same number in a square root over itself, top and bottom, and this will undo the bottom. All right. Now for this one, you might just have more terms on the top, but the bottom will still work out to be without a square root.